Hi guys, my name is Jen from Mind Create Crafts. This is going to be a very quick five minute tutorial on how to create these. So I sell my koozies at stores and craft fairs and all that. And I wanted to make something that was going to fit inside here that I could hang and to make it stay nice and flat. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create these. And they're so simple to do. All you just needed some cardstock and an image from Etsy. And I will show you how to do this. Starting in Design Space, I have this image here. I actually purchased this from Etsy. I'm going to show you what it looks like really quick. So I purchased it from here. You can see it was only a couple dollars to get this. You can obviously create your own, but sometimes I save time by spending a little bit of money by buying the image itself. So you can do it just like this, or you can make your own, or you can find it wherever you like, but this is where I purchased mine from, so this is kind of what it looks like. You can cut two of these out by the 8.5 by 11 inches, but I change my size on these a little bit so you can see that this one is a little bit different every koozie is a different size so i cannot tell you a specific size to go ahead and make yours at so it's just very easy to take a ruler or even take your mat and kind of measure how big your koozie is and go from there my particular ones that i'm using is 4.2 by 4.9 that's just what works for me a um, couple other things if you wanted to change the color on here let's say you wanted to do one black and you want to do one green you can do it that way um, these are being cut out on paper i would highly recommend cardstock paper, um, even scrapbook paper, anything more than just printer paper because printer paper is just way too thin and it will not um, hold up. So when you're cutting this out, just remember you want to cut it out on something a little bit harder. So if you wanted to even change the color, like I said, you can change the color on this. If I wanted to duplicate another one and let's say I wanted to do this one like a blue color, you can do that. Just remember that your paper that you use um, is going to determine what color you have. So we're not cutting this out in vinyl, we're cutting it out in paper. So whatever paper color you have, but if you have two different color papers that you want to use, you can change the color on here and make it really easy. Another thing is if you wanted to write something on here, like be more personable, you can do that. You just go to the text button here and you can type something in. So I'm just going to put in I Create Crafts. That is my channel name. That is what I go by. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller here. And then you can go up here to font. I'm sorry, you can go up here to operation. And then you want to change this to pen so that your Cricut machine knows that you're going to be drawing this. You can change the style of writing that you want. Um, let's see here. So we can go... Um, pick out a specific one you want. Um, I'm trying to find, they changed this a little bit on me. Uh, I'm not used to this one, so I'm gonna go here to writing. They changed the, the interface of this a little bit, so I was looking for this right here, the writing. You wanna click one of these that actually is specifically for writing. So any of these would do that it's going to write out for. So let's just say I grab this one really quick. It's gonna change it for me, but then your Cricut machine is gonna know that this is a writing one. So once it goes, there it is here. So this will write it out just like this with your pen. So the only last thing you wanna do is if you wanna do this, you put it on here put it wherever you want to put it. So like a, if you want to make it like a little bit smaller here, but you can remember the, depending on the size of your koozie, you might not even see this. So you could put it, you know, a little bit smaller up at the top here, even if you wanted just like that. But just for purposes of the video, I'll show you really quick what this is going to look like. So it's going to be like this. You want to get it centered. So I'll grab all of it. And then I'm going to go to a line and I'm going to do center horizontally. And there it is. So if I want to cut this out right now, it will um, take a different piece of paper and print this on it with your marker and then it will cut this out. So you want all of it to be together. So you want to select both of the images there, go down here to attach and that's telling Cricut, hey, I want to write this on here with the pen and cut this image out here. So I'm going to delete this one just to kind of show you what it's going to look like. I'm going to go to make it really quick. And then here it is. So it's going to do one whole thing. It's going to cut this out and then you're going to need to put your pen in and it's going to draw that out for you. So depending on how big you put these, you can get quite a few on a piece of paper. Um, normally it's about 8 by 12 um, you can get a piece of paper. So depending on how many, how big you have it is how many you can put on here. So if you like the way this one looks, you can go ahead and click the duplicate button here. You know, as many times as you want. Let's just click a bunch of times and then I'm going to show you what it looks like really quick. 
It's probably going to be too many for the page that I, I'm going to be using, but I just want to show you, you can put multiple on here depending on what size paper you have. So like I said, it's about like 8 by 10 so for mine, I can get four of them out. So if you went too many, you can go to the three dots up here, hide selected, go to the three dots, hide selected, and then the last one here, rather than can canceling and going back and doing it again. So I should be able to get four of these on one piece of paper. So I'm going to cut some of these out, and I'm going to show you what they look like. But these are really cool if you have koozies and you want to sell them or you want to give them as a gift. It's just kind of nice making them a little bit more personable. And if you want to hang them up, like if you're at a craft fair or something, that's very, very simple to do. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these out and I'm going to show you what they look like. I'm going to finish this really quick and push continue and I'm just going to show you which setting I use in case you're new at this. Like I said, you do not want to use paper from like your printer. You want to use a thicker, um, thicker paper. So for this one right here, so what I use for mine is this cardstock for intricate cuts. This is what I use and then my um, Cricut machine is warming up right now, so if you can hear it. And then I go to default and I click more, so there, just like that. And then you can use your green mat if you want, but you have to be very careful because it is a little bit stickier. I would probably use the blue one, um, which is a little bit less sticky, and then it's easier to peel back your paper um, from it. But I'm going to go ahead and cut some of these out, and then I'm going to show you what they look like. These are really awesome. Like I said, you can use any color, any other, any writing on it that you want, but these are really cool way to finish up your koozie. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you what they look like. I hope you guys liked this video tutorial. It was very easy to create. It only took a couple of minutes. So you just take your regular koozie that you have here, and then you stick this piece of paper into your koozie, and it will hang nice and easy for you like this. If you have any questions or anything, please leave them down below. Please make sure that you use cardstock, something that's a little bit thicker, that it's not going to rip or tear if you're going to be hanging it, and it, so it keeps it nice and uh, straight in here. So if you have any questions or anything, please leave them down below. Give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber of mine already.